Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about JavaScript and getting losing interest in web development. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I'm losing interest in web development, but I still love JavaScript. Do you have any suggestions? Well, that is pretty damn specific, I have to say. It's pretty damn, uh, that, that is a very interesting problem. That's, uh, that's kind of like, you, you know, you're, you lose interest in soccer. Uh, but you still like playing with a soccer ball, like a, playing with the ball. It's it's a very specific problem, but let's let's try this out. So I wrote, I, I, I didn't really get a reply to this because I wrote back and asked for some clarification on this one, because I need to know if when you say web development, do you mean all of the web stack or do you just mean front end? Because if you just mean front end, then yeah, we're pretty much set here, I think. Because then the first, my first suggestion would be to have a look at a non front end position, because Node.js is a fairly popular thing, and there are quite a few different job positions out there where you can actually you can work on an API level project where you just do back end work in Node if that's what you want. Because, like, honestly, most of the work that is being done in, um, in JavaScript is UI related, mostly. But uh, it's not exclusive. There are plenty of big companies where, you know, you can do bigger things. You can do bigger, better backend work than what most people use Node for. Netflix would be one example, example of that exact thing. But if let's say that that's not the only option, let's say that it's not about server side work, and let's say that you want to do something wildly different, then then the list gets a little bit shorter. I mean, the first, th the second thing, uh, apart from doing backend work in Node, I can think of is maybe you want to have a look at working with mobile development, but that's also kind of UI related if you're using React Native or something like that then you're kind of in the same position, if I'm honest here. I, it is different. It's saying the same, but different. I don't know if that's still in the ballpark of what you're looking for, but you I mean you can absolutely do that, and it is not technically web development, but it's very close to web development. And the same thing goes for doing, I mean, if you can find, there are only a few companies that I know of, and they are fairly prestigious. Like, the big products are usually fairly prestigious, but if you use something like Electron, using Node and JavaScript technologies and web technologies in general to do desktop application development type of things, you can do that too. But that's also, I would say, that's almost front-end because you're using CSS, you're using JavaScript, you're using HTML, like you're basically doing all the things that you would do on the web. It's just that you're not on the web, you're on a desktop application, which is pr it's pretty much the same experience developer-wise apart from that you have some interfaces that you wouldn't have access to in the browser. So same, same, but different also there. Not sure if that's uh, up your alley. And then apart from that, I would say that there's not that much. I mean, you can do what I do as an example. I mean, I, do, I don't really do this for professional purposes. Uh, yes, not just yet anyway. I am learning things about machine learning as an example. So TensorFlow or TensorJS. TensorFlow.js is an uh, interesting thing you can look into if you want to do that sort of thing. Other niche things you could do maybe in JavaScript is you can have a look at games, game development in JavaScript. That's, you know, still kind of web related because you don't really run JavaScript games on. I mean, you could do it in, in Electron if you wanted to do it in the on, on a desktop, but I'm not really sure. Like, it depends on you, right? But you can absolutely do game development as well, although it's not as, you know, the game industry isn't as focused on JavaScript as uh, for, the, at least not for the big 3D games, the popular type, like the really big titles. But you can absolutely do that as well. So uh, these are, I think, the main things that I would suggest, no, actually I forgot about one that is also fairly relevant, and that is uh, IoT, Internet of Things. Uh, there is quite a lot of hype around Node for that sort of work as well. 
I mean, you're still making a server and stuff like that, but there's quite a lot of buzz around IoT and doing node development using different uh, different devices and having them communicate with each other. So that's also an, a possible option. And that is actually, I think, uh, that's, uh, that's a fairly feasible career choice as well. That's something that you might actually find to be at least a little bit more common than doing machine learning specifically with Node or JavaScript in the work environment. So what I want you to take away from this is that, at least for me, if, you bore, if you're bored with JavaScript, uh, or rather if you're bored with web development and, but you still like JavaScript, you're kind of getting out of the ballpark here, dude. You're kind of outside of the of the comfort zone for a lot of uh, companies. But uh, there are options. Uh, you can have a look at Node as a backend language, and that's you know that's pretty much safe if you if that's what you're talking about. Then you can have a look at React Native. That's also a popular choice for web, web de or for mobile development. It's still kind of web web ish. And then you can have a look at Electron for desktop application development. That's less common uh, on the low end of things, but it's still feasible. You can, for fun, just have a look at game development. Uh, there are some companies who do game development in JavaScript as well, but they're not as common as the alternatives. And then you can have a look at you know machine learning or things like that, or you can have a look at IoT. And IoT is probably the like if it's if you if you want to do something different, still use JavaScript and have a feasible chance of getting a job. I think IoT is the related work may be on the higher scale of all of these things, apart from you no know, just doing pure backend API stuff, right? Yeah, that's going to be my answer. Have a great day.